this video contains a few spoilers from each book in the King Killer Chronicle, so make sure you are up to date before watching. The Adema Ru. Now, of course, everyone who has read the King Killer Chronicle is going to be familiar with this particular cultural race, as our fiery haired protagonist himself is of Ru blood. That, or maybe you just listened to the song named Adema Ru by the symphonic metal band Nightwish, and in that case, you're gonna learn what the song was named after. The Adema Ru are a nomadic tribe of entertainers. They wander the four corners of civilization, sharing their many talents in storytelling, juggling, acting, and playing music. If you picture a traveling circus or a troupe of gypsies, then you're on the right track. In fact, they're most well recognized by their gypsy-like wagons. Who knows, maybe you'll even find a strong man or a bearded lady or two in there. Having nowhere really to call their home, Rue are bound under the principle of being one family, which is represented in their symbol of an unbroken circle. In fact, one doesn't have to be born into a Rue family to be part of the one family. A tradition of offering wine and water when meeting a wanderer is a test to see if the wanderer is part of the one family. Occasionally, a troop of Rue will have a wealthy patron who gives them leave to travel freely under his protection, and he gives them permission to use his name and colors. The mutual benefit being that the Rue perform in the patron's court, building his reputation. However, much of the population has a mistrust towards the Adema Rue. There have been instances where a band of thieves kill a Rue troop and take their identities, and go on to depreciate the Rue name. We see this happen in The Wise Men's Fear when Kaboth, to say the least, does not take the false troop lightly. He kind of slaughters them all and brands them with a broken circle, indicating that they are not of the Adema Ru. Araladin and Lorien, Kaboth's parents, were leaders of one such troop that traveled under a patron, Baron Greyfellow. Of course, we know of the tragedy that befell Kaboth's parents and troop when they were slaughtered by the Chandrian for singing songs about them. But what are the Adema Ru's origins? There are many fan theories out there with quite a bit of concrete evidence, however no one can say for sure. Some say the very first Ru, Ilian, could quite possibly have been a Fey due to Felurian recognizing the name. There's also the odd connection between Adema and Greystones, or Waystones, and we know that those stones somehow connect to the Fey realm. Others say Adema could stem from the word Adem, the evidence being that the Adem people used to have a nomadic-like lifestyle before settling in Adam Ray and starting the Ademic schools. Haliax, leader of the Chandrian, once said to Cinder, Who keeps you safe from the Amir, the singers, the sea, from all that would harm you in the world? But who are these singers? Could it be that these singers are indeed the Adema Ru? Hey guys, thank you for watching my very first lore video. This is the first one of many to come. If you liked it, please hit that like button and subscribe, and feel free to mention down below which lore video you would like to see next. Also, if you are an artist and you make artwork on book series, I would be super appreciative if you contacted me and gave me permission to use your artwork in these videos, because I had to contact a lot of people. So yeah, make sure to comment down below which lore video you want to see next, and if you have a theory with some concrete evidence, then maybe share that theory with me or a link to that theory and I might possibly make a video on it. I'll leave the link to my Twitter and my Instagram down below as always, and I will see you guys next week.